Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So today we're gonna to be talking about wireframes and what their purpose is essentially. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to first talk about you know what a wireframe is and then I'm gonna show you me creating a wireframe for, and this is some, sort of a new announcement. I'm excited about it. I am revamping and relaunching designcourse.com, right? So I'm going to be selling courses there at designcourse.com. Um, and it's gonna be basically uh, a new take on courses. Each course is gonna be based on one real project for one real client, uh, either in the UI, UX, and or front end, front -end development and maybe perhaps identity design as well. And so I'm really excited for that. Each course is probably gonna be at least three to four hours long. Um, and you'll be able to purchase multiple courses at a great discount. They're gonna be, not be you know, real expensive because you know, they're one project per course, but they're really gonna you know, bring depth into each project. Unlike a lot of Udemy courses where like you get 20 projects and you know, they're not really real. They're like build a calculator or whatever. So um, what we're gonna do is I, you know, having said that, I need to now be able to I uh, send over a wireframe to a developer. So that's one of the use cases for a wire, if they're having a wireframe. I want my developer to know which features uh, he needs to develop for. Right now, I don't have a high fidelity mockup or a prototype to give to him. I uh, And so what I would love to do is I want to have time to work on that high fidelity mockup or, you know, where I'm going to be, uh, designing everything as it, exactly as it should appear in the browser, uh, but that takes time. So I just spit, by the way. Uh, and so I want to be able to give to him uh, you know, directions in terms of what features he needs to start developing for. And so that's one of the great use cases of a wireframe. It's going to help you or your team figure out the flow of a project between page to page. It's going to help you figure out the features that need to be there as well. And so basically what a wireframe is not, a wireframe is not, it has nothing to do with aesthetics. It doesn't have anything to do with what the website should look like. It's, it's the underlining portion. It's the skeleton, the flesh. That's exactly what a UI designer needs to be concerning themselves with. That's the white space. That's the topography. That's the margin. Uh, that's the, um, I'm a brain fart right now. Uh, that's the visual hierarchy, the, all the UI design fun, fundamentals I've been talking about for a long time. Um, and so that's not what a wireframe is you know, concerned with. It's concerned with all the underlying mechanics of a project, it would be that an app, a website, or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and show you uh, just a very, very quick uh, example of how I would use a wireframe UI kit to piece together a wireframe for my upcoming designcourse.com relaunch. All right, so let's get started. Before we begin, there's never been a better time to try Linode. From now until May 31st of 2020, Linode is giving every single account access to object storage for free. That's right. Whether you create an account all the way back in 2003 or even just today, you can take advantage of free object storage until April 30th of 2020. What is object storage, you might ask? Well, object storage is an easy way to store and access data without the need for running a server. It's perfect for data that doesn't regularly change, like images and other multimedia files, important backups, or giant archives for servers that might need more storage space. One of the best use cases for object storage is hosting your own static website. You can have a site up and highly available on Linode's object storage with as little as an HTML and CSS file. To give Object Storage a try for free and get an additional $20 on your new Linode account, sign up at linode.com forward slash design course. All right, so I'm here in Adobe XD and we're gonna come up to this menu right here and you can see where it says get UI kits, wireframes. That's the one that I want. Now that opened up a browser window on my other monitor, here it is. So download kit. So this is um, not the only kit. There's a bunch of others that people have produced um, that'll work with XD and probably Figma as well. Um, so whatever you choose, just check it out. It, it's, it's a good idea to get familiarized with it. You can see this one has a web version and a mobile version. So we're just gonna do web. And uh, when I double click that, it actually opens it up like as if it's a, a zip file or something. Um, I'm gonna drag it to my desktop and just double click it and that will open this. This is the actual wireframe <clears throat> that we're going to use and refer back to, you know, refer to while we design uh, 
or we need certain sections in, in UI elements. You can see that it's se it's it's separated into UI elements, landing sections, content sections, presentation, team sections, blog sections, portfolio forms, pricing tables, call to action. You know, so not all of them are going to have the same things. So you know, I uh, just. I know UI8 probably has, uh, UI8.net I believe has a lot of uh, um, these types of things that you can use for wireframing and also for high fidelity mockups. Um, so for UI elements over here, the very first thing that I would want to use is, um, actually let me let me close this one out because I edited that one. I wanted to, I want to use the one that you guys um, are familiar with. So if I go back here and click download, let me drag this new one onto the uh, desktop. There we go, web. There we go, okay. So now we're gonna be working off the same document exactly. Because um, I wanna show you how to edit the colors because I, I did edit the colors a little bit. We can see these are all blue basically. Um, so first off, again, <laughs> When it comes to wireframing, it's not about the aesthetics, but still, just to show you if you wanna be able to change the colors with these things, you come over here to this panel, the assets panel, and you probably couldn't see that because it's so small on my monitor. But um, here we have our different colors. So we can change these colors up if we wish. So we simply right click and choose edit. And then maybe if I want like a darker you know, version, you can see it automatically responds here. Uh, maybe we'll make this a little bit brighter of a blue right there. All right, so everything's automatically updated, very handy. So for my project, for my revamping of designcourse.com, I wanna have a navigation. I'm gonna start left to right, top, bottom, whatever. So I just know that I wanna have some type of uh, navigation at the top or uh, like a, a nav bar essentially. So we can take this and these are all uh, components, all right? So components are reusable elements um, where you have a master component and then you can edit it um, and then it will reflect on all the other instances of that component. Um, so like one thing that we, um, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and change these to the real links that you want. For instance, um, I might choose mine, you know, like maybe I'm gonna have a section for courses. So I'm gonna double click in here. This is gonna be courses. Maybe we'll also have a section for about. I'll, I'll fix the alignment in a second. A cart, because I'm gonna allow people to add multiple courses into a cart. Um, a login. All right, um, so let's move things over, you know, based on where we want them to go. 42 pixels, I'm holding shift and just right clicking and dragging. So our cart, let's go ahead and make this our primary or secondary color here. We'll make it bold as well. So we're just using Arial right now. Again, it doesn't really matter about the aesthetics. I know I'm getting a little bit picky. You can do that if you wish. Um, you could probably worth having like maybe a little like a, like the number of items in the cart or the courses, whatever. I'm just gonna keep it like this. We could also change this XD to the actual, um, you know, like design course or whatever the company is. I don't really care that much. So I'm just gonna copy it and refer back to this document here. And I'm just gonna place this right here in the center and then take our artboard here and drag it in. So drag it into here. I think this is like 1440 or something. Yeah, 1400, just about right there. Okay, so I already have my nav. I didn't have to sit there designing it from scratch. Great. So next up, what else would I need? What do I want to be the section? You know, usually most landing pages have what's called a hero section in here. So we could just say hero section, like with a piece of type that would be perfectly acceptable for a really lo-fi sort of wireframe. Um, but we do have this right here. So we can quickly look over here and see what sections they offer. So we have landing sections. This is probably where we would wanna focus on. Here's a hero header right here in this section. I'm just gonna copy this. We'll come back, let me close this stuff out. Close this stuff out, there we go. And where is my Adobe XD? Come on now, Gary, um, right here. Paste it in. Oh, that wasn't all part of a group. So what we'll have to do instead 
select all of that, group it up there, copy it. Now, there we go. And if you want, you can customize the text. I'm not gonna sit there and do that. Um, just a, basically a, a, a hero slash header section as it was referred to as. Then I wanna have the actual courses because that's sort of important, right? So it makes sense if somebody's coming to my site to really show and feature the courses that they can take, right? So that would make most logical sense. So I'll come down over here and go back to this section, our UI kit rather, which is I thrust over there on the other monitor. Wait, oh, that's the wrong one. That's the reference. I uh, Damn it, Gary, what are you doing? There we go. No fudge. What the hell are you doing? Where is it at? There it is. Okay. Now, now I'm going to look for cards, all right? Because I want these each courses to be kind of like in a card design of sorts. So where are my cards? I know there's cards over here somewhere. So you just got to, if you're not really familiar with it, obviously it's going to take a little bit more time. There we go. Here's a card. So we'll take this card, and this is all part of a group. Put it right here. Now, um, I probably don't want to have a share a button for a course, so I'm gonna change this to like, add to cart. No, not car. There we go. And we can get rid of this. We don't need this, that doesn't make sense. Maybe this would be like a plus button over here. But either way, we get the idea, and that's the whole point of the wireframe. So we could take a repeat grid, get this centered up, maybe take this, and again, we don't have to necessarily do that stuff because I'm getting too picky about design because I'm a UI designer. Again, we just want this to be as fast as possible just to demonstrate you know, the different sections that we want and the different features and functionality. So after that, I'm probably gonna have like testimonials um, some other just descriptive and explanatory content. Um, going back to my original uh, document here. So we can come down to, there's a landing page section, I believe. So if, yeah, that's right there. Yeah. Content sections, there we go. So our content sections, we can have, uh, we'll take this, all right? And we'll just paste that in down here. Again, you don't have to update the content either. I mean, very, very simple. Hopefully you're getting the idea of this. You're just copying in the different sections that you, you kind of want to account for for your content. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be laid out like in this two column thing. Um, and of course you would probably update this to say, you know, what our, what, wait, wait, not our, my students, are saying now actually this wouldn't be a testimony section this would probably be more like uh, a, con a section elaborating more on exactly what this this site is so um, these aren't just video tutorials something stupid whatever and then there would be some descriptive text we could leave that as norm ipsum if we wish get rid of that get rid of that there we go so then um, we can probably have uh, another section. I know they have pricing tables. So we could probably do a price tables. So let's go down here and just, you know, these are well designed already. So it's, it's a high fidelity sort of wireframe. Um, this one looks pretty decent, we'll copy that. Bring it down. I'm really just piecing together the sections of this landing page. Very, very simple. You don't have to make this complex. Now, what about a footer? All right, well, let's go find a footer. I know they have footers. Here's a footer. Let's take this one, copy it. And then we'll shrink this up. And there we go. So let's just say that that is the amount of sections and content that I want to have. In the end, this right here is just a wireframe. It's not necessarily what the final product will look like. 
This could look entirely different, but we're using the wireframe to either give to the UI designer or to help ourselves as the UI designer to figure out the flow of the project and what the content requirements are, what the feature requirements are. So in the end, I could come up with a, a, an aesthetic, a UI design that would look entirely different than this. But the wireframe will have helped me conceptually in terms of you know, what are the requirements in terms of what I need to design for. You know, I need to have a title right here in, in this little card section for each uh, course. I need to have a little description and an add to cart. Those might be styled in different you know, fonts and topography, um, different font weights, sizes. The padding might be different. The, 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 the background of this whole thing, the, the, all the colors could be completely different. So that's not what the wireframe's for. It's not for the aesthetics, it's just for the structure. So hopefully me going over that is giving you, you know, a, a pretty good idea of, you know, what the purpose of, you know, these are. So, um, you know, in terms of a wireframe, I'm thinking about maybe I'll just do one more just to really help this stuff, you know, hit home and how fast this can be. What about a login page? Let's do a login page, all right? Very simple. We duplicate it with Control D, selecting the artboard. We get rid of all of this stuff right here. And then we go back to our wireframe kit, which is right here. We go to forms, and I know there's a forms section somewhere. There we go. There's an email and password. Copy that. Oops. That was an accident. There we go. And then we paste that. Uh, we also need a header. We'll just paste this in there. Move these over. And we'll get a call to action button, which they also have. Wait, get over here. There we go. Um, we, that's under UI elements, I believe. So we'll take that. Oh, I just loaded up <laughs> Adobe After Effects. That's annoying. All right, in a very simple, boring login section, you could probably also have a second column here. I'll do that real quick, just because this looks so bland and lame and boring. So what I can do is come back here, it's trying to load up Illustrator, unfortunately, or I mean After Effects, unfortunately. We'll come up to some of our sections. I'll look for a two column sort of situation. Maybe we'll grab this. It's still trying to load just because of all the software recording and stuff. Um, come back and look at that. Probably don't wanna, again, this isn't about, you know, right now the designer in me wants to fix this because this text shouldn't be as big as the, the actual uh, page title. But again, not worrying about that. Let me close that out. Um, so you get the point. Hopefully now you understand fully what the purpose is of your wire frames. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. You learned something new. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys real soon. Goodbye.